Peyton turned into the small gas station, cursing at herself for not getting gas in time when she left the campus. She was halfway through her six-hour drive home in the middle of nowhere, and she would be totally lost if it wasn't for the little blue line on her phone GPS, it was after midnight, and she was tired and weary from the road. She unplugged her phone from the dash and grabbed her purse, looking around outside before stepping up. It was an awful little two-pump station with a faded sign that left out any recognizable franchise. There were no other cars, and no traffic as far as the eye could see. She didn't really want to stop, but the fuel light was on, and the GPS said there wasn't another opportunity for 30 miles. She didn't want to chance it, and she made a mental note to think ahead next time. With a sigh she swung her door open and stepped out into the brisk night. The overhead fluorescence flickered softly and the cool breeze waved at her long hair as she walked around the back of the car, already fishing out her debit card. When she came to the pump, she let out a heavier sigh at the paper sign taped over the card reader. Scrolled in pen read a simple message, please pay inside. After a quick glance around, she headed in. The door jingled as she pushed through. The gas station smelled of bleach and stale air. An elderly man with glasses and beady eyes offered a wave as she passed. She nodded awkwardly and headed to the refrigerated section, deciding to get a caffeinated tea for the rest of the drive. She walked down the closest aisle, twirling her hair on her finger as she walked. She passed the candy bars, overpriced medicine, and a cork board littered with flyers. She scanned the drinks, seeing rows and rows of brands she didn't recognize. She grabbed the most expensive one and hoped for the best. On her way back to the counter she couldn't help but stop and glance at the cork board. Aside from the local ads, it was filled with missing persons. She looked from picture to picture, still twirling quietly. Some photos were clearer than others, some of grainy quality, others faded with age. They were all women, each in different poses and different angles, like they were shot while on a vacation or something. Just as she went to pull away her twirling stopped, and she noticed a strange similarity between them all. They all seemed to be taken in or around this gas station. Peyton turned to leave, just in time to catch the flash from a Polaroid camera.